Hey, what's up guys? It's King Canuck here. I'm coming to a brand new video. We're gonna be playing some Black Ops Cold War in the year 2024. We're gonna be playing some Nuketown Hardpoint. I'm gonna be using the Tech 9, which is my favorite gun in this game. I haven't played this game in a it's been a while actually since I played this game. I think it's been over a year. But uh gonna try and drop the nuke in this game. I think I could do it. It's just depends how the other team plays. But, uh... Yeah, this game is... One of my favorite games of all time. I loved Black Ops Cold War. But, uh... Gonna... Try and drop the streets. This game got a lot of hate for no reason. Like, I find this game was actually... A really good game. It just... I feel like if... The killstreak system wasn't the way it was. I feel like it would be a better game. Because I do agree with the... The killstreak system was pretty uh, lackluster, I'd say. With the way you could stack the score. But I got all my streaks now. It's gotten, this game feels just amazing, honestly. I don't know. Definitely is better than MW3. I'll... I'll say that. Sadly, though, with uh, this game, the nuke does not end the game. It's like the Moab from uh, MW3. Which kind of sucks, to be honest, because uh, if you're losing, basically you're done. Kind of camping at this second here. Oh, got the nuke already. That's pretty quick nuke. Just kind of hopefully I could try and streak up more. Man, I wish this game was back in its prime. This game feels amazing. No, oh, I died. It's okay. Could call on the nuke if. On accident if I have to, or if I call him Duke on accident, it doesn't end the game. So I can still go for high kills. Which is the only upside of having a callable nuke that doesn't end the game. Is sometimes if you accidentally call in the nuke, you don't end the game. Oh, I thought I was going to hit a collat there. Or quad collat, actually. That would have been crazy. Man, this gun is just... Fuck, it feels good. My god. Loved this gun. War Machine again. Call on the harp. Jeez. Maybe I might start playing this game a lot more. Until the new season drops. And then once I beat the new season of MW3, come back and play this game. Because, man. This game. I remember uh, the LC-10? That was a crazy overpowered gun, too, in this game. But this Tech 9 has to be the most overpowered gun from this game. Like, the headshot multiplying in this game is crazy. Holy shit, double nuke. Behind me. Oh, 
Holy shit. No, I died. I was on such a huge streak. Holy shit. I already have 80 kills. Level 347. Can't believe there's 2,500 levels in this game. It's crazy. It's actually insane. Like, that's such a grind to get. 2,500 levels. For me, that's on average of, like, one game to level up. Which, 2,500 games is crazy. See, if each game's 10 minutes. I don't even know. That's fucking forever. <coughs> I remember like a year ago, I was thinking about like when I was playing this game only. Because MW2 was kind of shit. I was thinking about getting the 2500. But I was not able to. No, I died. Okay. Trophy system and it's already destroyed. No, I died. Dude. No way. Try and get a lot more kills here. Saw that guy up in the window. Is that guy's a death machine? Love that I can get my nuke while using streak kill streaks. Damn, I didn't get the call and then. Oh, I almost got the triple nuke, but uh hope you guys enjoyed this crazy double nuke on some Black Ops Cold War. And if you guys want to see more throwback Call of Duties, I have a I don't think I have like two of them that I would on PS5, but uh or Xbox, whatever I play on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Peace.